unacceptable and disrespectful. That's how families are describing what two teachers did at a school assembly. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm Jonathan Elias in for Jack Williams tonight. In fact, they staged their demonstration during a ceremony for students enlisting in the military. Many parents and teenagers say they crossed the line. Beth Germano joining us live in Yarmouth this evening. And Beth, one of these teachers claims the controversy is actually a good thing. Jonathan, she tells us tonight it is a teaching moment for her students. Her anti-war views are well known here at Dennis Yarmouth Regional High School, and now many believe she needs a lesson in supporting her students. Enlisted in the United States Marine Corps, Ashley Jacob. A standing ovation at senior class assembly for six graduates who've enlisted in the military. But amid the applause, Ashley Jacob saw this. I saw two people standing and one was a sign that said end war. It was a teacher holding the end war sign, Mary Beth Barani, and not clapping. I'm showing them in a democracy how to exercise dissent. That opinion has touched off a firestorm at Dennis Yarmouth Regional High School. Even left her classroom leafleted with signs to support the troops and the honored students stunned. For people to not really show this, the support, I mean, no one has to agree with your decision, but at least help you move on with your decision. And now it's like hard to see them as a role model if they're not supporting their students. Students say Mary Beth Varani talks frequently about her political views. Now choosing this public forum has the principal taking a closer look. There's a sincere interest in fostering that dialogue. I think a classroom is a better environment for that kind of dialogue. It was not against them at a personal level. It was, against, it was, it was to show a, another point of view. Which is why she welcomes this response, but feelings run deep at the school. That last year lost graduate Nicholas Exaros to the war. Not a teaching moment yeah. for everyone. And I just like, can't picture anyone like not clapping because they're going to defend our country for us. So if she wanted to begin a dialogue with her protest, she has certainly done that. Ironically, the graduates that we spoke with tonight say they will be defending her right to hold that sign. Reporting live from Yarmouth, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. Jonathan? All right, Beth, thanks very much. We certainly wish all of those students the very best. The principal says that he doesn't personally condone the teacher's actions. In fact, he is weighing his options but can't promise that they will be disciplined.